We are truly trying to transform our high school so that we meet the needs of everyone in the community and we continue to expand and continue the rebirth of Bowen High School. I decided to participate in this community walk because I want to get to know our community better. I've been here for four years, but I don't feel like we have a strong presence in the community. And so our goal is to have a strong presence so that everyone knows that we offer great programming in the community and for us to understand exactly what the community wants in a neighborhood high school. We don't want people to believe they have to leave the neighborhood to get a great education. One of the things that I value about Bowen's approach to community walking is that it involves a large group of students. We're trying to change the overall view of the school. A lot of people think that Bowen is a bad school and it's really not. So we're trying to get new enrollments of students and we're trying to let the community as a whole know that Bowen has changed. So ultimately this is action research, right? The only way for us to be able to collect reliable data is for everyone to use the same approach and to use the same forms. This is the best way for us to get strong information that is reliable from each person who is involved in the interactions. Before we go out into the community, we want to help everyone to understand the goals of the day. And then we want them to be able to use the data collection form so that we get reliable, strong information so that we can use that information to inform our decisions as we recruit and as we expand our enrollment. I want you to group yourselves into threes and make sure there's at least one person who feels really good asking questions and someone who feels really good taking notes because those are hard tasks. And then the last person is going to be like the checklist person and also the person who will help you remember anything that you didn't remember initially in the interaction. Before we went out into the community, we got a chance to practice the uh, social interactions that we're going to have with the community members, with the teachers that we have on staff. We had the students role play the part of the question asker and then the other teacher and I were community members and so they just went through kind of like what's the appropriate way to introduce yourself and then how should you kind of synthesize the questions for yourself to then be able to summarize them to a person rather than having to directly read off of the script. Okay so I want you to pick either 87th and commercial head south, 87th and commercial head north, 95th and commercial all around that area or 83rd and exchange and those are the areas that we're focusing on. When I look at this particular flyer right now, I look at 97% acceptance rate, 92% uh, freshman on track. I think those are two things because if you can get the freshman on track in that first year, the next three years, they'll really just kind of fall into place. Uh, Our kids go to college, so you know, we're not just saying that, just saying what, it's what no, good, we actually go to college. So. Yeah. What are things that you would want to know that would make you choose Bowen or not choose Bowen or what, what's something that's important to you as far as like your own kids education? Staff. The staff? Okay. The so one thing that I found really interesting that he said was that staff is really important to his relationship with a school and I think that's something that maybe people don't really think of all the time especially when you're in a community that they have a lot of changing staff I think it's important to know that, yeah, staff being positive and important, staff having good attendance is just as important as students having good attendance. Next time Bowen have like an open house, you come out and see how the school yeah, is. Yeah, I'll even my out. son's car, but I'll go and see how your school is. That's why I said I, she gave me the number to call for yep. the principal. I was just surprised how receptive, you know, everyone was. I mean, we just were walking up, not knowing any of these people, just walking up out of the blue. and and everyone talked to us. Everyone was willing to talk about the school and about some ideas they had for how we could be more involved in the community. People had more positive things to say than I thought they would, right? So I was prepared that they were gonna have. I heard Bowen was bad, but. So when we returned from the community walk, we sat within our community walk groups and we identified wows and wonderings. For example, a wow might be, wow, people were really interested in learning about Bowen, or wow, I'm a pretty shy person, but I found it very easy to interact with members of the community. And then a wonder might be, how can we be more effective in reaching more people? All right, it looks like we have all wrapped up. Who wants to talk about something they were really excited about? The input that our students had when Andre stepped up, and I mean, I'm just so impressed with Andre, and then I've just seen the rest of the students involved today. I'm just, I'm very, very impressed. Excellent. I would add to that that uh, not only was, were you impressed, but the people that we talked to on the street 
said over and over again how impressed they were with the kids, that this is something we need to do a lot more of, get the kids out there. You are good ambassadors for the school. One of the wows, I was like, everyone that uh, we talked to, they uh, they was uh, happy to participate and uh, they was alumni of Bourne. You know, no matter like when they went to Bourne, they like went to Bourne from 55 to some, they went to 89, we talked to a lot of people. And I'm wondering, I was like, what if Bourne wasn't here? where would people be or how would this community be? Each individual then took their wow and wondering and posted it up on the wall on poster paper. And then we engaged in activity where all the participants did a gallery walk of sorts, looking at the wows and wonderings and then engaging by writing feedback so that we can ultimately take that information to make the next steps. You can feel the sense of community here. You can feel the sense of family. You can feel that it's gonna be a great year, you know? So. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.